One aircraft leaves SFO at 9 a.m., headed to Tucson. Another leaves LA at 9 a.m., headed to Montana. Their flight paths cross each other. They've normally got the same cruising speed and altitude, but there's 40 mile per hour winds blowing north to south, slowing down the northbound jet and speeding up the southbound one. But the southbound jet was delayed out of the gate by 10 minutes. Are they going to hit each other? If so, when and where? Sound like an SAT problem? It's not. This is what air traffic control systems deal with every day, a giant 4D trajectory prediction problem. The four dimensions being longitude, latitude, altitude, and time. If these systems can predict where each plane is going to be and when it's going to get there, they can route the planes safely around each other. If their predictions fail, the consequences are dire. And to complicate matters, this type of software often needs to run on commodity PCs with normal, underpowered CPUs. No GPUs, no data centers. So what do you do? How do you build a system that is accurate, fast, reliable, and can run on anything? That's what they're trying to do in this paper through a technique called knowledge distillation. The authors have created a teacher-student framework where a ResNet and CBAM teacher transfers its spatial attention knowledge into a lightweight TCN LSTM student. The student learns to handle temporal dependencies efficiently, while the teacher supplies richer, high-dimensional guidance. Together, they achieve lower error and faster inference than either model on its own. On today's episode of Journal Club, we're going to walk through how this framework balances accuracy and efficiency, how the teacher's attention modules sharpen the student's supervision, and why the distilled model actually improves as prediction horizons get longer instead of collapsing. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, then you'll be getting this full episode in text and audio form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.